I was going about my day doing my job as a magician. Give me your Twitter account and I'll make your career disappear! When someone challenged me, 100 block race, can you beat my time? I never back down from a challenge, which has caused me some major gambling problems, and so I visited the island of Baguette Jet, the worst mistake of my life. As I went on the island, I heard my mentor's words echo in my mind. If you're some man! I found some people gathered around a parkour track. Usually parkour involves platforming and making difficult jumps at precise angles, but here it's just a straight line of 100 blocks. Whoever goes the fastest wins. So I was off on my first attempt, ready to break all kinds of records. Nope, I fell off. L let's try again. And I got 5.8 seconds, which actually puts me on the leaderboard in 9th place. Okay, it's time to cheat, I'm sick of this. Maybe I can fly to go faster, or go backwards to get negative time. That's not working, I guess I just have to go faster. So I changed my size 13 Nikes to Rocket Heelys and reached 400% speed. And 4.8 seconds, that's 1 second lower. If this pattern continues, I'll win in 2 more tries and I'll be going back in time in five more tries. I keep running over it and it's not starting, damn it. Oh, it actually worked. And I've got 3.8 seconds. Wait, is my pattern correct? Am I gonna go back in time? Does this mean I have to kill Hitler? To get even faster, I put on full young dragon armor to get a total of 500% speed. And I used this newfound speed to get 3.8 seconds again. All right, time to break out the biggest gun of them all, the Black Cat Pet increases your maximum speed according to its level. So I went and spent 17 million coins on a level 57 black cat pet. Now, with this newfound power, my speed has become 500 still. It's supposed to raise it to 600, but it seems to be stuck at 500. Uh, I'll keep trying, whatever. I was surrounded by people watching me fail over and over. Baguette Jet, the owner of the island, the record holder, was laughing at me. I asked Baguette Jet if he had speed over 500, and he said it's luck based, just wait until you luckily get a better time. But I don't believe in luck. Did Usain Bolt need luck to get a gold medal? No, he was determined. Did Lance Armstrong need luck to win the Tour de France? No, he just needed steroids. Did I need luck to be the first man on Mars? No, I just needed Photoshop. Screw luck, I'm getting this through skill and determination. Okay, 3.798. I spent half an hour on getting two milliseconds better. Yeah, okay, back to cheating. What if I buy ender pearls? Nope, they're banned. Okay, I'll ride horses. They have four feet, which I think, yeah, that's more than two. So they'll go even faster than people. Hey, uh, 20 seconds. Uh, I'm gonna be here for eternity and I'm not leaving until I win. I will be the first on that leaderboard. I'll just go back to the black cat and keep trying. I'm gonna just start on the plate and hope I get lucky. Would it be hard killing Hitler back in time? I mean, what if he has nice eyes? Oh my god, what? <laughs> 3.758, that's second place, baby! A 40 millisecond improvement. Damn it, I've been beaten! As 12 year old me on Xbox Live would say, get wrecked. I still have first place to beat though. I'm a whole tenth of a second off, but it shouldn't take that much longer to catch him, right? Someone's recognized me. You're Dragoon, right? Bro, your vids are hilarious. Yeah, well, um, you're not anymore. Now I just run in a straight line over and over. After a while of no better attempts, everyone started talking about the black cat again. It says it adds 100 to your max speed, so why isn't it working? I decided to do some research. Personally, I like to gain knowledge through osmosis, so I just eat books. But after searching the forums and finding 20 different people saying the black cat does give 600% speed, none of them actually tested it. They just say theoretically, since no one can be bothered spending 60 million coins on a useless black cat pet. I tried re-equipping my armor, cat, and potions to reset the speed cap. I tried restarting my computer, causing a local black cat, adopting a real black cat, but none of it worked. Then I started doing some drastic things. I tried block glitching. There's no way this would do anything but slow me down. I bought parkour starting tiles of my own and tried to place them, I think. How did I think this would work? To be fair, I was listening to a song on repeat at the time where the word insane was the only lyric. I repetitively got times of 3.8, 4.3, and 4.8 seconds, but never improving. I decided to review the footage of my best attempt. I start on the pressure plate and then that's it. 
When you first step on the plate, a timer starts. Usually this timer ends when you step on the end plate, but if you stay on the starting plate, the timer will reset to zero seconds every half second or every 0.5 seconds. The timer will keep resetting as long as you stay on the starting plate. This opens up a whole new method. If you start towards the back of the starting plate and start moving forward, you can have the timer reset exactly when you're at the very front of the plate while you're already at max speed, but there's more. Because the game is online, there's going to be some lag and you can use this to your advantage. There are times where the server has delay and that's what's important. Sometimes the timer starts later than it should. Look at my attempt again. Starts, resets, resets, and I go, and now it resets. I've already moved five blocks away from the start when the timer actually begins ticking, meaning I only have to run 95 of the 100 blocks within the time limit. The rest of the run was just staying straight. To get a better time, you have to time it perfectly and hope that the server will lag and start the timer late. So I guess there's a bit of luck, but mostly determination, steroids and Photoshop. So it was time to grind. But suddenly I saw something in chat. Hey, I got first. What? Damn it. I was going to win. On the social display. Oh, okay. They got the most points for being on the island, not the timer. You get five points for every time you attempt the race, which means I've done this over 80 times. Definitely worth it. I found the speed throne owned by Baguette Jet. I will one day be the owner of this. For now, I've made myself this speed stool. I seem to have completely forgotten about my in-depth look about the timer resetting and just tried cheating again. Grapple hooks are banned in racing, but I think if you activate it just before you start, you might be able to get extra speed. The Yeti Rod gives speed when you hold it, but we're already at a 500 speed cap. I'm watching this back while editing, and I really did this for a long time. Oh yeah, this is the part where I counted every single block just to see if it was 100. It was. I didn't need a count. But what if I used... Death. Start the race and then fall into the void straight away. You will respawn closer to the finish line. Run and jump onto the platform to finish the race and I fell to my death. But what if you jump onto the start? Eh, uh, that took way longer. But then you teleport your horse across the bridge, which doesn't count apparently. But then use your rock pet teleporting trick that just teleports me into the void. All right, but then you use your quantum robotics to quest for perfection drives men mad. I am no longer human, I am just fast. I improved by one millisecond. Some say the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. But they're wrong. That's an example of insanity. Definitions are statements explaining the meaning of a word. Not seeing a pattern isn't the only way of being insane. There are many examples that don't fit under this definition. Because it isn't one. Because it's not a definition. Stop saying that. I'm not insane. Stop saying it. <sighs> Back to listening to my music. Next, someone asked me to give them money and threatened to unsubscribe if I didn't. <gasps> I thought you were nice. This is my Minecraft skin. Why would you think that? I got some advice that strafing was faster. It's where you run at a 45 degree angle sideways and you go even faster than running straight. The reason for this is quite complicated. It's because the grapevine is the greatest and most popular dance move. Humans do it more than walking, so they're better at moving sideways. Ah, uh, I really don't know if I can get any faster. I've been doing this for so long. My adopted cat wants feeding, but I'm busy. Wait, wait, wait! Speed 530? Is that more than 500? Yes, 530 is more than 500. I have over 500 speed. It doesn't show down here, but it's in my stats. Does the black cat actually work? What if I level up a bit? Uh, speed 536. <laughs> it works, oh my god, finally! <laughs> there were a group of us going for the record, a few cheering me on actually. I told them that I had found a secret and I would finally be able to take the speed throne. I spent some time leveling my black cat and considered buying a level 100, but I had a bigger problem. While on Baguette Jet's island, my speed was now 542. If I was on any other island, it was 576. I tried the hub, my own island, Time Dio's island, I even went on to Baguette Jet's other profiles and my speed was still higher, but on this one island, the only one I needed to go fast on, my speed was 34 points lower. I also found that both my strength and defense were lower. I still have no idea why this is. I never figured it out, but I found another way around the issue. Just to see if it was possible, I set up a 100 block race on my own island to see if it made any difference, and I started getting times of 3.8, 4.3, and 4.8 all over again. 
So I went back to the racing island and, uh, 0.9? That's a strange time to get. 4.9 seconds? I've gotten a tenth of a second worse somehow, consistently. Oh, I'm hopeless. Unless a beautiful person gives me 10 million coins to buy the level 100 black cat. Maybe someone called A4 Paper. Not the most original name, but thank you very much. Back to grinding. I have 600 speed, ready to beat my own record. 3.8, come on, I got this! 3.799. Yeah, nah, screw this, I'm done. I've wasted all day on this. <laughs> I'm going for a walk. And I really did. I went outside and just walked. You may think this race doesn't matter, that I'm reaching for a goal that means absolutely nothing, a few milliseconds lower, a bunch of numbers that will mean nothing within a week. But that's not what this is about. It's about the determination, not so much the steroids or Photoshop this time. In the end, everything will be forgotten. Some things will take longer than others, but no one remembers the achievements of those who lived a thousand years ago. What does it matter if they spent their time writing poetry or just seeing how many rocks they could stack on top of each other? Imagine them getting 17 goddamn rocks after a week of trying. I bet that must have felt amazing. Spending hours trying, finally achieving something better than you've ever done before. So what if these numbers mean nothing? Achieving a goal after putting all your effort in and more. That will always feel rewarding, and I envy those who do it more often than me. So I'm not giving up. I'll keep running this race and researching methods. The fact that someone is better than me only gives me proof that I can improve. So let's improve. I returned for another try. No one is on the island anymore. Everyone left. I'm the last one remaining. What? 3.7 seconds? That's a new best! Not the record, but it's the best that I've done. Okay, future Dragoon speaking, I did get 3.7 seconds right there, and you would be about to see me get even better times, but as I'm editing these, I realize I accidentally deleted my world record run, and all the ones before it. I have kept all the other clips, I kept one of me getting stuck in a pumpkin farm, but I deleted my world record. I've spent hours trying to recover it, I bought programs, I summoned a genie, I spent the last two days trying to get the footage back. I got so upset that I started spamming YouTube with crappy Minecraft shorts. I didn't want to log back into my own channel. So the next few minutes will have the original audio, but some slightly changed visuals, cause they're all gone. Let's try again. <laughs> it worked! 3.7 again! How did I do that? Did someone replace my gaming chair? 4.7. 3.7. Interesting. Surely I haven't just gotten one tenth of a second better consistently. I haven't changed anything. I kept going for a while and kept getting similar times, so I tried testing something. I left the island and went back on, all alone, by myself. And I went for one more attempt. 3.606. That's a new world record, and I can tell you exactly how I got it. It wasn't really skill. The 600 speed helps, but that's not the trick. What really mattered was that I left and went for a walk. I said before that the pressure plates that control the race register every 0.5 seconds, when the race starts, and every half second afterwards. The thing is, this half second can be offset. Let's say you join the island and start the race and then finish the race. In all that time, maybe 23.8 seconds have passed. This means the end plate for the race had its first press at 23.8 seconds. And from now on, it will register every half second after that. So 24.3, 24.8, 25.3, 25.8, and so on. Now, if you start a new race at 50 seconds and finish at 53.6 seconds, the plate won't register immediately, it will only register at 53.8 seconds. This is the problem. Your time will always be rounded up to the nearest tick. That's why the time is always 3.8 or 4.3 or 4.8 at the start. The way around this is resetting the island. If you manage to get the timer registering at say 23.65 seconds, then a race time of 3.5 seconds would be rounded to 3.65 seconds give or take a few milliseconds for lag. It seems that 100 blocks at 600 speed takes about 3.5 seconds, so if you can start the plate timer at an increment of 0.5 or 0, then you can get that time. How do you set the increment? Luck, kinda. Just keep leaving and rejoining until you randomly get it to start around that time. When I was playing before, there were always people on the island also testing, so it stayed the same. The island never reset, but now that everyone's left, the timer has changed. 
So now, I just have to grind one last chance with all my knowledge put together to get the ultimate time. If you're some man! They're all gone! Because it's not a definition, stop saying that! Wait, wait! Wait! Only deleted my world record run. Imagine them getting 17 goddamn rocks. I bet that must have felt amazing. 3.540. The top time. I win. Future Dragoon back. See, it's proof. I lost the footage, but I'm at the top, goddammit. I did it! And if you look at the social XP game, you can see that I ran straight at a wall 500 times. I regret nothing. I came back later to confront Baguette Jet. He congratulated me for winning and gave me, as I deserved, the speed throw. You can come and try to beat my time, but since this island will be full now, I set up another version on my own island. Good luck. Also, a brand new Skyblock update came out and I was trying to make a video on that, but I only got two sentences in before I was bored of it. Then I accidentally found this race and somehow had 15 minutes to talk about. Now, does anyone know if I can download a second recycle bin? <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.